for those of you who are pastors, there are more people in your churches who want to be involved in a substantial way in situations like this than you realize. Mm-hmm. And this kind of a network uh, not only gives them the opportunity to be involved, but it also gives them an opportunity to do something that God's placed in their heart, and that is to be unified with the rest of the body of Christ. Mm -hmm. And so it's just been an incredible blessing for us in the city that way. And I can, uh, with everything I have inside of me, I can commend these guys to you. They do an excellent job there. And I've watched them, and they continue to do an excellent job in our city and in the in the broader region. And I believe that if if you <clears throat> men and women decide you want to lock arms and do this, you'll see God do some incredible things in your city just as a result of that. I'll just have to tell you, when pastors are invited to go to a meeting with some group from out of town, every pastor I know is a little suspect. They're wondering who are these people, what are they doing? But I think I can assure you, and I think my fellow pastors would agree, we were all very impressed with this organization, the spirit of which they presented what they do, the heart for what they do. And uh, so we're really excited about kind of coming together with them. And since we met, we've had some more conversations, and uh, we believe we've sort of started the birthing of what's going to be known as the Waco Disaster Relief Network, the first of its kind. So that's very good. This is such a blessing to see because God is moving among his people. Not among a church name, not among a church denomination. He is moving among his people. We are a people of God. We pertain to Jesus Christ alone, not to a particular fellowship or denomination. Who can understand how something good can come from devastation? But only God can do that. He will bring out of the ashes beauty. He will change. He will transform. We need a revival. We need an awakening of God. We need an outpouring of his spirit. That is the only hope of salvation for us personally, for this city, for this nation, for the world. And as Stephen has said, and and as, as they state in what they do, that the only solution, the only hope of the world is through the local church. Presenting Jesus Christ, that's the only solution. That's what this is about. May we not be a people who cannot be transcended, astonished, overwhelmed by what God does, but we can actually turn to the God that is incomprehensible and allow him to be who he is and wants to be. I'm already astonished by what he's done tonight. All right, and and before I give this back to him, they were here the day after this thing happened. They were on the ground, they were walking the neighborhoods in faith, believing that this room would occur, ministering to our people in our city. A bunch of longhorns in Oklahoma helping us out. So thank you, Stephen. I appreciate you, brother.